Earlier on, we heard from the outgoing uh, Director General of the... Actually, he's gone, of the WTO, the World Trade Organisation. He said reform must be at the heart of his successor's agenda, who is currently facing what, as Avedo described, as a perfect storm. There are eight candidates to replace him. We're talking to them all during the process. Jesus Seyad is the Mexican nominee to head the WTO. He joins me from Hong Kong, where it is the middle of the night. So we're very grateful that you've stayed up this late uh, to talk to us. And um, you're the Me Mexico's candidate. Your, the, your predecessor, if you get it, the predecessor says reform of the WTO must be at the heart. So how will you offer up reform? Well, there are lots of things that have to happen. The first one is that negotiations have to be engaged in a serious way. Uh, it's the heart of the WTO system, and for 26 years we've had almost no negotiation. Secondly, the appellate body uh, is now on the floor. It's not working. We have to make it work. But then third, we have to, have to make the place a lot more efficient, inclusive, and dynamic. That's probably a, a good agenda for reform. All right, but the critics say that you're too closely allied to the United States. After all, you got the USMCA through. So can you evidence sufficient uh, independence, if you like, from a North America agenda that might still be dominated by Donald Trump after November? No, I, uh, I really don't see what this can be based on. I negotiated with the United States, the USMCA, and got very good results that the United States was not exactly keen at the beginning to, 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 to agree on. We negotiated well. I have shown an ability to negotiate with the United States, which is crucial for WTO. But otherwise, all my life, I have spent more time in Europe than anywhere else in the world, including my country. And I have lived for 10 years in Hong Kong. I have worked on all the world. I'm a citizen of the world, close to everybody, not too close to anybody. Oh, I love that phrase. Close to everybody, not too close to anybody. Your trade credentials are impeccable, having negotiated the USMCA and been heavily involved in trade during your professional life. But, but I wonder if, if, if those say, do you have the reformist mindset? Bearing in mind, as Avedo came in, when the Doha round was still around, and he killed it off. Facilit the best achievements were facilitation and minor agreements. Is it ever possible to get a major multilateral trade deal? Oh, it is absolutely not only possible, it is possible, it is essential. Without it, the WTO will continue to wither away into irrelevance. We need a big agreement on a number of areas, in agriculture, on uh, the green economy and development, uh, sustainable development, on transparency across the board, transparency in trade practices, in investment decisions, in prices, which is the only way for the United States and China and everybody else to begin to get closer to each other. We need a big result. And Precisely because things have gotten worse, I believe that everybody is listening to the call of need to move forward. And so this is all about moving forward. And that's what I can offer. Good to have you with us, sir. I'm very grateful. It's quarter to four in the morning for you in Hong Kong. I'm glad and grateful that you stayed up tonight to talk to us. Thank you.